How important is training when you are dealing with someone who is going through some type of mental episode? Clearly, it's, 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 it's very important. It's, a, it's clearly a matter of life and death. Video from the day before Patrick Warren Sr. was shot and killed by a clean police officer has been released. Captured through a ring doorbell device, it shows the officer who did have mental health training. Talk Warren down from a mental health episode and according to the family, take him to receive medical attention. Arlene McNeil breaks down the stark contrast between Saturday's video and Sunday's, the day Warren was killed. Continued frustration and more questions surface after the release of this video. But if you compare the two incidents side by side, the first question that comes to mind is could this have gone differently if a mental health officer was available to respond? The encounter was completely different. So we do know that all of those things are different, but we're not sure which differences were more important or had a greater impact on how the call unfolded. It's almost impossible to predict human behavior, Dr. Bracebull explains, especially when you consider Warren Sr.'s state of mind. The family and their attorney, Lee Merritt, say Warren Sr. was going through some type of psychosis or a break from reality, explains Dr. Sam Falia. Falia says an understanding of the complexity surrounding mental illness is essential when it comes to knowing how to respond. Understand the context of those behaviors. Uh, is critical in being able to deal with the uh, situations appropriately, uh, de-escalate them, and get the person the help that they need. At this time, it's unclear if Warren Sr. had a history of mental illness, but Felia says in older adults, psychosis can be induced without much of a warning. Hey, hey, hey. Think about faith. Think about faith. It's more often uh, something related to uh, an organic cause, possibly a uh, medication uh, change, or a uh, stroke, some sort of uh, brain injury. And those can happen um, fairly suddenly without a lot of warning signs before him. The Texas Rangers say the investigation is still underway and there is no additional comment at this time. Remember that when the investigators are looking at this and when the when prosecutors are looking at this, what they're going to be looking at is what would a reasonable officer have done in a similar or in that situation. When it comes to those specialty officers like K-9 or SWAT, or even those who have more mental health training, Dr. Bracewell says it's highly unlikely that for those smaller and medium-sized police departments that they will have a specialty officer in that field available for every shift. She says this goes back to resources, personnel, and time for additional training. Reporting in Khalid, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. The Warren family now making funeral arrangements. They've made a GoFundMe page asking for the community support.